This video is an overview of topspin and will show the basic 1D spectrum manipulations. Topspin is designed for many basic and advanced processing and analysis techniques for data collected by a variety of NMR experiments. These videos are going to cover a fairly small subset of what Topspin can do. Later videos on more advanced techniques will introduce some of the other features of Topspin, but this series will only cover the basics. The main window of Topspin is shown here. Operations can be performed in Topspin by either menus, buttons or commands. In most cases a single operation can be performed multiple ways. In these videos we will generally show you what we consider the easiest way to perform a task. However, keep in mind that the more you work with Topspin you will find that there are other options. We recommend that you develop a workflow that you are comfortable with. At the top of the window is the menu bar. As you click on the menu options, you will notice that the bar just below the menu changes. This is the flow bar, and the operations and drop-down menus will be related to the main menu chosen above. Below the flow bar is a row of buttons, each with a very small icon. These buttons will execute a specific operation and most of them are used to manipulate the NMR data open in the window below. Note that these buttons will change depending on the type of data that is open, for example the buttons are different when a 1D spectrum is open, versus having a 2D experiment in the data window. For a full explanation of all these buttons please see our Topspin manual. Remember, that if you hover the mouse pointer over a button, a small helper window will give you a short description of its function, so you should never have to guess what a button will do. I will show the function of some of the more useful ones later in this video. On the left hand side of the window is the file browser. There are three tabs that will change the operation of the panel. The browser tab shows the file browser, which can be scrolled to display all the saved data. At the top you will see the parent folder, data, on the E drive. This is the location that Icon NMR stores data and this is where we want you to save data that you would like us to archive. The small plus sign allows closing and expanding the main folder. Each dataset can be expanded with the plus sign to reveal the numbered experiment subfolders. Note that the listing is alphabetical, however it is also caps sensitive. Dataset names starting with a capital letter show up first. For this reason, we want people to only use lower case letters, and datasets not following our instructions will not be archived and just deleted. Scrolling down we can find the auto datasets generated by ICON. The current date should be the last file starting with auto. We can expand the dataset with the plus sign. We also need to hit the second plus sign to actually see the processed location. Data can be opened by either dragging the second line into the data window, or you could also double click on the second line. The last 50 tab will show a list of the most recent datasets that were open. This allows you to jump back to a spectrum that was previously opened and keep you from having to hunt for it in the file browser. The groups tab is something we do not use and you can ignore it. This panel can be hidden by typing Ctrl D. Ctrl D will also bring it back, so if you do not see the panel type Ctrl D to make it visible. To the right is the main data display window. This window is used to manipulate and process NMR results. There are many functions available and some can be accessed with the tabs on the top. The tabs can be customized so the number and order can be different on each of the facility's systems, or on your version of the program, so be careful when you select and work in the tabs. We will go through several of them in later videos to perform operations like chemical shift referencing, integration and plotting. Below the file browser and data window is the narrow command line. Here you can type commands that Topspin can execute, or access parameters. Note that you can scroll through past entered commands with the up and down arrows to re-execute them to save you some typing. Almost everything you can do with the buttons and menus can be done with commands. However, the commands can be quite cryptic and remembering all of them could be challenging. We will discuss some of the more useful ones in later videos. At the bottom of the window is the acquisition status panel. This was introduced in the previous video which showed what happens when an experiment is run. This panel is customizable and may look a little different on each of the instruments. Each sub-panel shows a readout of a status, level, or temperature reading. 
They also act as a command, or open a menu of commands, so be careful clicking in this region. Let's focus our attention on the data window. When a spectrum is open you can use the mouse and buttons to manipulate it. When you place the mouse cursor in the data window you will see a vertical line that can be moved across the spectrum. In the upper left of the window you can see the point of the spectrum that the cursor is over with the chemical shift and intensity of that point. This cursor can be used to zoom or expand along the chemical shift axis. Place the cursor where you want to start the expansion, let's say 9 ppm, and hold the left mouse button. Then drag the cursor to the other side of the expansion area, here about 0 ppm, and then release the mouse button. This works also going right to left. Chemical shift expansions could also be made with this set of buttons. This button, on the top left will allow continuous adjustment when you click, hold and move the mouse from side to side. The buttons below with plus and minus icons will make stepwise adjustments. These three buttons are difficult to work with, so we recommend using the mouse for course expansions. Other buttons in this area are quite useful. This button, will bring you back to the full spectrum, and this button, will bring you back to the last expansion. But perhaps the most useful button is the one with the PPM icon. This is the exact zoom button. When you click this a panel opens where you can enter the exact range you would like to zoom into. This is very useful for preparing your spectrum for plotting. Vertical intensity can be adjusted with the mouse scroll wheel. Rotating up and down will adjust the peak heights the same way. Stepwise adjustments can be made by these buttons. Star 8 and star 2 will multiply the intensity by either 8 or 2 times. The divide by 8 or 2 buttons will decrease the scale by these factors. Click, hold and drag up or down with this button, will allow you to make continuous adjustment to the vertical scale. You can always bring the spectrum back with the largest peak on scale by clicking this button. This button will bring your spectrum back to full chemical shift scale with the tallest peak on scale. When you are zoomed into a chemical shift region the buttons with left and right arrows allow you to step through the spectrum. The double-headed arrow with a hand gives you continuous adjustments, with a click, hold, and drag, side to side. The buttons with the arrow icons at the top in this area will let you jump to the ends of the spectrum. Finally, these buttons allow you to change the vertical position of the spectrum. The icon with the doubled head arrow going up and down lets you change the position of the baseline with a continuous click. Hold. Drag. Up and down. These icons will either position the spectrum at the bottom or top. It is really more like middle position. This option is useful when you blow up the intensity which is very helpful for phasing the spectra and we will show this in the next video. That is an overview of topspin and how to manipulate spectra in the data window. Thanks for watching.